Okay everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm loading up Minecraft Education today at the start of this video because I hear there is an update, um, although I'm not sure whether it's an automatic update or we'll have to do it manually maybe. Yeah, it's still on the old version, but that's okay because I'm going to show you guys how to do it manually so that you'll all know. We are going to head over uh, to Chrome and we're going to type in Minecraft Education Download to get to the official uh, page. I'll put a link in the description to this page for you. Choose your platform of choice. Uh, there used to be two ways to do this. You could download uh, the full version or you could do it via the Windows Store, but I think now it's only the Windows Store, yeah. Uh, we need to download the Minecraft Education Installer and then that installer will check for updates and it has found an update, uh, which is good. I was pretty sure there was an update. So we click that and it'll download and then we should be good to go. We're up to the newest version. Now, I made a video on the preview version of this, 1.2, 1.03, and it's got stuff like the Tricky Trails update, Chambers, Armadillo and the Mace and so on. So we'll start a new world. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enable ray tracing to see if that still works, hopefully. Um, we'll test out those things. Good news first off is that the ray tracing uh, works still which is quite nice um, let's jump into our inventory and try and find some of these new items we'll get some armadillos very nice yeah we like the armadillo and uh, let's go into the inventory and look at some of the chemistry items there they are all the chemistry items of course in this version they're just accessible in creative uh, things like balloons you can just get rather than having to craft them uh, you can just select them in your creative inventory which is lovely um, let's float up some armadillos very good now I have made a video about uh, many of the new features of course you've got cloud saving so you can save all your world files to OneDrive and use them between different machines which is going to make a big difference um, and also it's just nice to be on the most recent version isn't it Oh, which is pretty good. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you all later in the week.